Worldview Presets When someone doesn't value you, do these six things. Do you ever feel frustrated when someone fails to recognize your worth, even though you know you possess qualities that are kind, interesting, and amazing? If this sounds familiar, don't worry, there are solutions to this problem. By watching this video, you'll learn how to make others treat you with the respect you deserve in any context, be it work, family, or a romantic relationship. But before we delve into the solutions, we need to first understand why someone might undervalue you. According to a 2018 study from the Personality and Social Psychology Bulletin, individuals with low self-esteem are more likely to receive mistreatment from their partners. However, this does not mean that the blame falls solely on you. Rather, it's essential to recognize that changing your behavior is crucial to elicit a change in someone else's behavior towards you. Ultimately, you teach others how to treat you. So let's begin and discover how you can make others value and respect you more. Number 1. Recognize the value you possess. Feeling undervalued may lead you to believe that you're at fault, but having low self-esteem can undoubtedly push people away from you. Just because someone doesn't see your worth doesn't mean you're any less deserving of love and respect. The first step is to pick yourself up and remind yourself that you are worthy of happiness and affection. If you don't prioritize your own needs and happiness, why would anyone else? By recognizing your self-worth, you'll be more likely to speak up when someone mistreats you for the first time. It's important to remember that if you want others to treat you well, you must treat yourself well first. Put yourself at the top of your priority list and refuse to be a doormat. There's no point in wasting your tears over someone who fails to appreciate you. Once you learn to value yourself, the rest will fall into place naturally. Number 2. Learn to say no. To ensure you're not undervalued, it's important to learn to decline or refuse requests. People-pleasing tendencies can lead to a decline in both mental and physical health, and can make you too available to others. By learning to say no, you'll teach others that you won't compromise your time and that you won't tolerate being undervalued. It's okay to cancel plans or decline requests, and if someone treats you poorly, you have the right to confront them. By being clear about your boundaries and saying no when necessary, you'll show others that you know your worth and won't settle for less. Number 3. Tell them how you finally feel. To maintain a successful relationship, communication is key. If you feel like someone isn't appreciating you enough or not putting in the same effort as you, have an open and honest conversation with them. Let them know how you feel and the effort you're putting in. While it may be difficult to bring up, it's important to keep communication lines open to improve the relationship. Lack of communication is often the cause of divorce or problems in any relationship. If you've communicated your feelings and they still don't understand, it may be time to explore other options. Number 4. Make them work on your time. While it may seem harsh, using the scarcity principle can be effective. When something is difficult to obtain, it's often seen as more valuable. Apply this principle to yourself by making yourself less available. Stop being the one who always initiates contact, and don't always be available for last-minute plans. Instead, let them come to you and show interest in spending time with you. By making yourself less accessible, you're making them work for your time and attention. This also gives you the opportunity to focus on other aspects of your life and become busier, which can make you more attractive and interesting to them. Eventually, they may realize what they've been missing out on and start to appreciate your value more. Number 5. Tell them you have a choice. If you have got the shallowness component down and you are making them paintings for his or her time, what is the subsequent step right here, glaringly you pass someplace and be appreciated, as opposed to running on different initiatives with folks who are providing higher offers, visit folks who such as you for who you're and constantly consist of you, and pay attention in your opinion, and most significantly, visit folks who you believe you studied can come up with what you've got been lacking, if a person would not admire you, cause them to recognize which you constantly have the choice to leave, there may be something known as mimetic desire, Human beings constantly need what they see others doing, and that they constantly need what they see others doing. Visit the folks who you believe you studied can come up with what you omit if a person does now no longer admire you. Many researchers have demonstrated this which includes Sildiani who become the primary psychologist to come to be a best-selling author, so display them that your existence is really well worth living. 
also display them that your existence is best without or with them, and which you have many alternatives if they're now no longer inclined to leap in with each feet. You could forestall some instances and casually flirt with others. However, although this does not paintings, you can must face a few harsh truths approximately the state of affairs and take a few drastic motions subsequently we have. Number 6. Don't stay around. I mean, at this point you've tried everything. You've tried to keep your distance and realize your importance. You've tried to regain your self-esteem. You've tried to get your life back on track. You've tried to communicate, but someone still understands your worth. If not, it may be time to use that trust and get out of the relationship. This trust is for use and to get out of this relationship. After all, you deserve to be with people who make you feel valued when you always feel like a second choice. Influencing your life, don't stay for the wrong reasons. Despite all the evidence to the contrary, don't stop thinking it could get better. One-sided relationships can affect not only your physical and mental health, but everything else in your life. Being in a job or friend group that doesn't make you feel accepted will affect you when the time comes when you can finally think of being undervalued. It's hard and even harder to know how to deal with. But if you're honest and know your worth, one day you will meet someone who truly cares about you. Remember that you deserve more than what he gave you. If you are not happy with your current situation, only you have the power to change it. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Your support means everything to us. Thanks for watching.